Hey friends, welcome back to Shawnee on the Spot. Since we're doing a lot of dining at home and with the holidays coming up, I thought this would be a good time to refresh us on how to set a proper table, whether basic, casual, or for formal dining. Because face it, it can be a little bit perplexing when you got to figure out where does that salad fork go versus that dinner fork. So stay tuned and I'm going to show you three separate styles on setting our table. We're going to start with number one, the basic setting. First, we lay the placemat on the table and then we take our dinner plate and we're going to place that in the middle of our placemat. To the left of the dinner plate, we're going to place a basic dinner napkin about one inch away from the plate. And then we're going to place our dinner fork on top of that napkin. Now to the right of the plate, we want to place our knife. We want to again, it's a general rule of one inch, and we want to make sure the blade is turned inward facing the plate. And then next would be our spoon. Now if you're planning to have soup, that would be the reason for the spoon. Now your water goblet or beverage glass will go above your knife. And that is a basic setting. And this is generally used for breakfast at home or when you're getting ready to just have a basic meal, maybe perhaps lunch. This is considered a basic place setting. Place setting number two, the casual setting. Now, again, you see me placing a placemat on the table first. Now this time, I'm going in with a plate charger. Now plate chargers can be used in casual dining or you can opt to not use a charger. On top of the plate charger, we're going to place our dinner plate. On top of the dinner plate, we place our salad plate. And then on top of the salad plate, we're going to place our soup bowl. And again, with casual dining, you can opt to have a fancy napkin placing, or you can opt to do the basic. Here, I've chosen a little bit more fancy and just placed my fork on the inside of that napkin. Again, to the left, we want to place our knife. Don't forget to turn that blade towards the plate. And there we have our soup spoon. Now our water goblet is going to go directly above our knife. And we're gonna have a wine glass or other beverage glass directly to the right of our water glass, slightly downward, maybe a quarter of an inch down. Now this is considered a casual place setting. This is a place setting you may see in a restaurant when you walk in for your favorite casual dining or how you set your place settings up on your own dining room table for yourself and your family. Setting Number three, the formal place setting. Now this is a place setting that you may see when you walk into your favorite upscale or high-end restaurant, or how you set it up when you're entertaining at home, perhaps a small dinner party, or for yourself when you want to dine formally indoors. Now you see me going in first with a fancy placemat and with a charger plate. Now in formal settings, a charger plate is almost always used. And generally, you may just see a napkin sitting on top of that charger plate because when you walk into an upscale restaurant, they customarily don't have the dishes already on the table, but they will have a charger plate as to not leave a blank space in front of the guest. Next, you saw me go in with a bread plate to the upper left corner of your charger plate and my flatware starting with the dinner fork directly to the left of the plate 
and to the left of the dinner fork was the salad fork place. Now to the right again, there's that knife with the blade turned inward and next to the knife is a soup spoon. Directly on top of the bread plate, I'm placing a butter knife in the horizontal position. Now I'm going in with a fancy little dessert spoon and that's customarily placed right above the charger plate. Now if you were also going to have salt and pepper shakers for your individual guests, they would also go there as well. And a place card if that is what's warranted. Directly above that knife, you saw me go in with a water goblet. Since there are going to be other beverages perhaps served in this formal setting, we're going in next with a white wine glass directly to the right of the water goblet. Next, you see me placing a red wine glass to the right of the white wine glass. Now this is where some variations can occur. If there is going to be champagne served, then there would be a champagne flute also placed on the table and perhaps a glass for sherry. Now that you saw the napkin be removed because for me when I'm at home and I'm setting up for a dinner party or a formal setting on my own dining room table I go ahead and put my dinner plate, my salad plate, and as well as my soup bowl on the table. Now we surely can do this if you're at home entertaining and you want to set up formally you surely can do it this way. There's so many variations to the formal setting. Do what feels great for you when you're at home, but recognizing what may happen when you're out at a restaurant. The most important thing though with a formal setting is to remember what to use, when, and how. Now one of the other variations that um, is very customary is with your guest or yourself is going to want to enjoy perhaps a cup of tea or coffee with their dessert. That's when a teacup or a coffee cup is brought out and an additional teaspoon for stirring. Now generally when I put out these uh, things I do have a saucer up under that teacup or coffee cup but for this demonstration I failed to bring that out. Now for myself, I prefer coffee and tea to come out at the time it's requested or at dessert. So for this demonstration, I'm going to remove the teacup and the teaspoon and just show you that this here is a typical formal place setting. Again, one you might find in a restaurant or how you may set it up at home when dining formally. Well, there you have it. The three common place settings. We looked at basic, casual, and formal. I hope this was a helpful refresher for you or perhaps you learned something new. Let me know in the comments. I'd appreciate it. Remember to like and subscribe.